Good morning, friends. Hello, hello. Crazy hair lady, don't mind me. Good morning. Hi, Donna. Hi, Shirley. Let me know if you can hear and see me okay. Make sure everything is working. It's been a while since I've done a live. So let me know down in the comments here if everything seems to be coming through okay. Hello, hello. Look at those comments pop in. Hello from Minnesota and Arizona. Good morning, Sandy. Hi, everyone. I know, totally last minute, kind of my thing. <laughs> Still recovering from being sick. So, hi, Sylvia. Can you guys hear me okay? Uh, my microphone working. I don't just look like I'm talking randomly. Sounds good. Yay! I forgot how to put all my stuff together for a live. I was fumbling through everything. Okay, and this, look at this crazy. This is how unplanned this live was. It's crazy hair, spikes going out all the place, gray hair. This is how I craft. <laughs> See and hear me just fine. Great. And I'm so sorry. I will try and mute if I have to cough. I, I went to California for a vacation at the beginning of November and I came back and my son was sick and then I got sick and then my husband got sick. So um, I'm just kind of recovering. It's all it's all in my chest right now. So good morning, everyone. Thank you, Heidi. Hello from Maryland. Wow. And you might hear some random noises. Um, my husband's home from work today, so he's in and out doing yard work. And I just told him like I'm going live because next week is uh, Thanksgiving vacation, and I will not be able to get it done next week. So wanted to pop in. Vancouver, wonderful. Hi, everyone. Got, I think, if my counter is right, we have 41 people here with us. Great. I'm, I'm so thankful you guys can join me today on such a spur of the moment live. Kentucky, wow, just everywhere today. This is great. Okay, sorry, my ears, my ears like to pop uh, when I'm talking. I'm still, still recovering, but. Um, I wanted to pop in because today I am part of a blog hop with Spellbinders and it is about your favorite Christmas product from Spellbinders collection, which they have a ton of amazing Christmas products. They've been releasing them for months. So I went through and I picked out one of my favorites. It's just one of them because there's, there's so many good ones out there, but I thought, you know, this is, this is pretty simple enough. I want to redo it for you in a video. So um yes thank you express okay expressive paper what is your first name i see you i see you all the time so what i probably won't remember your name but what is your first name the weather is very cold it's cold this morning we had some beautiful weather earlier this week and now it's now it's cold now it's really cold okay my audio is great wonderful I'm glad that the audio is working because like I said, I I was plugging in cords left and right. I wasn't sure uh, what was working. It's been, been a while. Kathy. Okay. I'm going to try and remember that, Kathy. Oh, yay. You're having coffee with me. My coffee was about mm, four hours ago, <laughs> but I'm on to my energy drinks now. Okay. So I'm going to jump into my project because... It is a very unplanned. I kind of quickly grab the supplies that I'll be using, so I'll try not to keep you here too long. So I'm going to try a few things here. Uh, let's see if I do this. Okay, so this is the card uh, that I'm going to be making. Let's see, maybe I need to tone my lights down a little bit. I feel like I'm very bright. So one second there, a little bit better. Okay, so this is the card that I'm going to make. Uh, this is with Spellbinders. It's going to be using a stencil. Now the most part of this is stencil. If I have time, I want to uh, hot foil a greeting here. So this is what I wanna make. I'll bring this up. Maybe my lights won't be so bright, but oh yes, and look at that naked nails. I, I need to do nails today. So 
Yeah, and I did add a little bit of um, lunar paste in here for some sparkle. So really easy stencil background to create. I'm going to try and mute when I need to cough because I get, I get tickles in my throat. So I want to try something. Look at that. Eee! I'm in the corner. Yay. Let's see if I could play with this. All right. Do you guys see a little me over here in the corner? I think that's kind of fun. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, kind of just taking it nice and easy today. So if I don't finish, I don't finish. But it's a pretty easy background to do. Of course, we're doing ink blending with stencils. So, um, you know, it's my favorite thing to do. And I think there should be a supply list down in the bottom. I was trying to throw that in there real quick and then I'll come in and add uh, different products as I go. So great, we'll get started. Hi Linda, great to see you guys here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna kinda put that up on the side is I'm going to grab some grid paper here. I like to use these on occasion with my stencils. Kind of helps uh, helps when I want to tap off any excess ink or um, less cleanup. Hello from Georgia. Sorry, yes, I'm going to be doing this a lot. Hope that isn't distracting. My ear just keeps popping on me. You see a mini Mindy? <laughs> Typically that would be my daughter, but... For today, it's me over here. <laughs> nope, you didn't miss anything. I just talk a lot. So, now the cardstock I'm going to be using, I think this is the right one. Let me check. Yes. This is Hammer Mill cardstock. It's a really nice, smooth cardstock, which is great for ink blending. I completely ran out of my repositionable tape. So, I have to order more. So I'm gonna take post-it tape, fold it in half and just place it behind my panel there. And then I can just tack this down so my cardstock's not moving all over the place. You have a not missed a thing. Nope, <laughs> just, just getting started. Other than I'm still sick, but I'm just getting started. All right, so I grabbing out my little ink pad mat. There's different things you can use um, for your holding your ink pad. Um, there's the ink stand. There's I tend to just grab this little thing because it's very quick, easy. I toss it around. Um, these are just I, I actually have picked these up from Simon Says Stamp, but they're um, I think I seen Tim Holtz using them. They're just like a what do you want to call it? Like a shelf liner. Hi Valerie, great to see you. So glad to see everyone. Now this is the layered Merry Christmas foliage stencil. And it does have a coordinating die to die cut out the sentiment if you wanted to pop that up. I did not use that on my card today. Let's see if I can get into my camera shot here. There. Um, and then it gives you an example, which I really used classic Christmas colors for this. I didn't venture out too far kind of into the classic classic colors this year. Now, I did notice that their stencils are not labeled as far as the order. So, let me double check. It's also also kind of hard to tell what side goes where. So, you do have to kind of pay attention. A lot of times what I will do is kind of hold it up to my light. I don't know if you'll see it through here or no, but I kind of hold it up to my light and then I can see through to make sure all my stencils match up. So this one I know is my greenery. It's the first layer that's going to go down because it's got the most open areas of the stencil. Then I have the second layer here of the leaves. This is going to add some detail to the leaves. Let's see if I tilt it, you can kind of see it. I got to fix my lighting. It's been super bright lately. Yeah, Helen, it was really last minute that I decided to go on. Hubby went outside to do some yard work, and I'm like, 
I think I'm going to jump on quick. Then the next layer of the stencil is going to be uh, these flowers. So I'm going to put that behind it. I'm going to kind of hold these up and I'll be able to see over my light that everything is where it's supposed to be. And then we have the Merry, Merry Christmas, which we have uh, the letters here and then there's going to be a shadow to it. Now, there's also another stencil here and this one's got like some stars and dots, things like that. I decided that I'm gonna do lunar paste with this because lunar paste dries really fast and it's really pretty. So that's gonna be my last layer. I just gotta uh, figure it out when I get there, I think. All right, so this is the first layer of the stencil. Nope, that's not the first layer. This is the first layer of the stencil, the most open area of the stencil. So I'm going to line this up. They do have some kind of uh, cut out areas here that you can line up with the corner of your cardstock. No, I, when I get sick and my head is plugged up, Linda, um, my ears act up and so it constantly pops. You know how you have that feeling where you're like talking underwater? That's what it does. So if I put pressure on my ear, that kind of goes away. I know it's, it's super annoying. I know I'm so sorry, <laughs> but at least it's not all plugged up in my head. I was very thankful for that. It went, went pretty quick. So I'm going to hold that first layer of the stencil down with some post-it tape. I'm just going to check over quick here. All right, everybody's here. If you lay a dark color on your table, you can see what the stencils are. Oh, hey, I did not try that. I always have white paper. So you know what? Let me let me grab a cardstock. Let me try that. <clears throat> How about a dark gray? Should we try that? This one's got a lot of layers. So let's see. Yeah, I can kind of see that. You might not be able to see it too well on camera, but I can see that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind. Hello, is it? It's Charlene, correct? Dream Craft Create. I believe it's Charlene. Charlene Madrid. How well do I know my people? <laughs> Good morning, good morning, everyone. All right, so I'm gonna start off with Cabbage Ink from Simon Says Stamp. Thank you, Donna, I know. I'm getting there, I am. And just these ears, I've always had problems with my ears. Drives me insane. Cabbage Ink is going to be, maybe I'll just take myself out of the picture and you guys won't see me holding my ear 900 times. <laughs> I'll pop back in later. So I'm going to use a blending brush with my lightest color of ink, the Cabbage Ink from Simon Says Stamp. And just come over to my stencil and start adding that color. I'm not gonna do a lot of detail. I'm gonna kind of keep it as just pretty much one color to each stencil, since I know this is gonna have some layers to it. Northern Arizona, is it nice and toasty in Northern Arizona? It is not toasty here. And yesterday it was crazy windy. So hubby is out raking all the leaves. And I think he's gonna try and mow lawn for the last time for this year. I think that's his plan. remove my post-it tape for our next layer such a pretty color such a pretty color so this is the second layer of the stencil I'm gonna line up those corners once again and I, actually I don't line up those corners I go off of the image sorry if my sprouts of crazy hair get in the way I am in serious need of a haircut and um, I just have not been able to get in so I have sprouts all over the place popping out 
My next color is kale. So I'm gonna grab a mini brush for this. And this is a seriously dark color, but it's so, so pretty. And I just really love that contrast. And now I don't want to go too heavy handed because it is a brand new ink pad. I think this is just recently released. And if you go too heavy, you're going to end up bleeding your ink underneath the stencil. So you don't want to come in too heavy. Let's go through and add these to my sprigs. Colorado. Oh, I want to visit Colorado someday. I think that'd be so pretty. You have asthma and always get a cough that lasts for weeks. Yes, that's what I'm, well, I don't have asthma, but once, once I get sick, yeah, it, it takes a while for it to clear out. I feel fine. Like this is the last couple days. I really felt good. It's just the ear and the coughing that are dragging it down a little bit. Thank you, Mary. Oh, I appreciate that. You have a great day as well. Oh, hubby's in the side of the house. I can hear him scraping through. Oh, isn't that contrast just gorgeous? It, it will also kind of dry back a little bit too. But I love that contrast. Hello from Michigan. Very close to me, kind of a neighbor. My third layer I'm gonna bring in here are some flowers. Now I'm also kind of looking here, maybe I can zoom in a smidge. Um, I'm gonna kind of line these flowers up with the stems too. Well, let's try that. If it's off a little bit, it's not a big deal. Not a deal breaker. Now this one I'm gonna start with a light, uh, I guess you could say pink, but it's gonna be an undertone for my poinsettia flowers. Got a dog hair stuck. So this is guava. Glad my grab my blending brush for this. And just coming in really soft, light handed. Now, this one I am going to add a little bit of detail to, just to spruce it up a little bit. Oh, I love seeing where all of you guys are coming in from. That is really fun to see. And have any of you been catching my Handmade Christmas series out of curiosity? What do you think of that? It's kind of a surprise surprise last minute idea I had to try do some handmade gifts maybe some cards sneaking in there what do you guys think of that series do you like series 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 of <laughs> videos like that I know there's so many people that do a Christmas card series and things like that and I I normally don't I just don't plan ahead enough. Oh, that, I forgot to add my extra, but that is so pretty in pink. I'm leaving that. That is, it's different than my original one. My original one went more red. I love that in pink with that dark green. Thank you, Heidi. Alabama. That is fun. Oh, I just really like that in pink. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I see so many people that do... Christmas card series and um, you know before I kind of got into card making I used to do a ton of just handmade treat bags and things like that for my daughter's class when she was in elementary school and I haven't done that in a long time because my son doesn't really get into it but uh, this year I want to there were some things that popped into my brain I'm like I really want to do these this year for the teachers and the aides and the office staff and I actually have one I have to go get some supplies for it but I cannot wait to make it they are so cute and I have not done them in a long time so I can't wait to do that one 
All right, my Merry Christmas, I'm gonna do in cherry. So a really nice bright red. Ooh, what did I miss here? Columbus, Ohio. You're liking the series, good, I'm so glad. New Zealand, wow. North Carolina, sorry, I'm totally distracted here. Adrian, the Gina K set and honeybee card I made were amazing. Thank you. You had to go shopping. <laughs> well, you know, the thing of it is, I am just like every one of you guys. I watch a video and I have to go get the supplies. So you are not alone when it comes to that, which is also why I try not to put too many products in my videos because I know that can be frustrating if you want to make like the exact same thing and you have this ginormous supply list to buy. So, you know, you'll notice a lot of my adhesives and things like that stay pretty consistent, but I do try to keep my supplies to a minimum. You know, this one, for instance, yes, I'm listing blending brushes, but you can use any type of blending tool. Um, you know, inks. You don't need these exact colors. You can go through and find something you have in your stash. But the main thing of it is this stencil. And then I have a sentiment I would like to add if I have time. So those are the only real kind of specialty items to it. There's no fancy technique today. I just thought this was really pretty. So that was cherry. And you can see we also added some details to the flowers. And we have, oh, isn't that so pretty? That's, <laughs> I think my husband, I can hear him. I think he's starting to sing along with his music. You don't want to hear that. He totally is. <laughs> I can hear him. If only I could get him on a live. And he's freaking out my dog now. I think he forgot that I said I was going live. All right, next, this is the shadow layer. So for that one, I'm gonna go back to this light pink. Oh, husbands, you know, you just can't control them, can you? He is just insane. All right, so light pink here for my shadow. And this is a pretty thick shadow that it's going to be placing down. And if you've noticed, so this one, in case you missed the beginning, is from Spellbinders. I also have it listed down in the video description, but they have some amazing sales going on right now. So especially if you are looking at any of the machines they got some crazy discounts going on over there all right so that was my shadow layer i might have gotten too dark oh you know what my i didn't my comments weren't moving uk oh thank you adrian yes that was so amazing of gina to get that discount sorry my comments weren't moving i thought everybody stopped talking to me <laughs> kelly whitaker wonderful yes they are a lot of fun you made 60 five by seven christmas cards wow wow hello missy wow i got some comments to catch up on here Thank you all. Hi, Sherry. I don't worry about being late, Sherry. I was completely spur of the moment that I decided to go live. Like literally ran out, told my husband, be quiet. I'm doing a live. And then it actually took me longer to um, figure out my setup again. Okay, so this one's just going to add some really pretty details in between my flower I wanted to come in talk to you guys say hi you know we got um Thanksgiving break coming up and I didn't take my paste out um I did take my paste out where did I put my paste one second uh with break coming up and I work in a kitchen 
Um, I don't know where I put my paste. Sorry, one second, guys. This is how unplanned I am. Oh, no. I Here it is. Okay. And... Okay. Let's see if I can pop myself back in. Um, oh, with me working in a kitchen and them home for the break, it's so hard to try and get alive and it's like near impossible. So coming in now, now, whenever I have any type of stencil paste, I always get out my baby wipes. I have one ready so that I can just clean things off. I may need to disappear briefly so I can go throw this in the sink. Normally I just kind of get up and wash it off. So there will be a moment. So this is the Simon Hurley Lunar Paste Slippery When Wet. It goes on, it's super pretty, it dries fairly quick. So I'm just going to spread this all over those little areas of the stencil. He's got some beautiful colors. Just like icing even though I don't ice cakes, but I'm told it's just like icing. I just eat the icing. I don't actually cook. So I'm gonna try and get a smooth application of this. There we go, maybe. Okay, I can put the rest back in my jar. And then this is what I use my baby wipe for, is just to wipe off my handle real quick and close this up. My comments aren't moving for me for some reason. Menominee Falls! I've heard of that one. Okay, so you guys will have to excuse me for a moment. I'm going to go throw this in a sink of hot water so that my paste doesn't dry. Let me just remove that. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. You know what? I think I put this on wrong. I think I should have turned it the other way. Nope, maybe it's right. I don't know. Either way, I can just tell I went over some of the previously blended areas, but I don't care. It's really pretty. So if you'll excuse me for just a moment, I'm going to go wash off my stencil. So give me one moment here. Okay, sorry about that. I also had a gor had a coughing fit while I was trying to rinse off my stencil. <laughs> now my nose is all runny. So I'll put this off on the side to dry. What do we got going on? When you came back to crafting, you thought Simon was the owner of Simon Says Stamp. Honestly, I did too. When I first started card making, I, I did too. I didn't know who Simon was. So you're not alone. Now, I think what I'll do is while I clean my stencil, I'm going to 
a little turn on. There we go. I started up my uh, glimmer machine. Excuse me. I'm all kinds of problems this morning. Maybe I shouldn't have gone live. Oh, my comments don't want to move. So, does everybody have, or anybody, I should say not everybody, do you have a Black Friday shopping plans? Like, what are your most wanted item? Like, what are you really hoping to see a sale from that you really want to get? Or are you dropping hints to your significant other? Like, let me know. I'm curious. I have to look for, um, it's not crafting related, but I have to look for uh, an Apple Watch. I need to find a sale on an Apple Watch for my daughter. That was one of her big ticket items that she wanted. She doesn't really, it's like the only big ticket item that she wants, to be honest. I am just cleaning off my stencil I have. I think they call them flower sack towels that I place my stencil on. And then I have some rubbing alcohol in my spray bottle. Just got to be a little careful around my sprigs here. Crafting while sick. Is there any other way to do it? You told your husband the only thing you want from him is to find him from him. Put up a ceiling mount for my camera. That is a good plan. It's very helpful. A scanning cut. You don't do Black Friday shopping. You go out to dinner and then enjoy a Christmas concert. Aw, that's super sweet. Love that. Yeah, I don't, I actually leave the house on Black Friday. <laughs> I am not one of those people. I don't, I have never liked shopping in crowds. I don't even like grocery shopping in crowds because it drives me nuts. I walk around and I'm like, people move. You give the family a list. <laughs> hey, that works. Then you're getting exactly what you want. KitchenAid mixer. That's a good one. Yes. I'm going to foil a sentiment here while my panel is drying. I have some Spellbinders Glimmer specialty cardstock. You can really try any really smooth cardstock. Um, uh, you're having a hard time hearing me. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't, um, I'll try and talk louder. Maybe that'll just help. Otherwise I'm going to have to go into my settings and I don't know if I want to mess around with settings. Actually, I just pulled it up. <laughs> Let's see. Um, it's okay. How is this? Is this better? Okay, um, <clears throat> I don't know if that's the right one I wanted. Oh, no, I bet I wanted this. Let's try this. Hold on, I'm messing around. Uh, no, I don't want that. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm messing with my volume. So let me see. I think it's my what? Output? Okay, how is that? Is that a little better? Yay, good. Okay, perfect. So I have some Glimmer specialty cardstock. Like I said, any kind of smooth cardstock. Um, Concord and Ninth. Gina K has great smooth white cardstock. Um, there was another one. Hammer Mill is really good. So any type of smooth cardstock. I just happen to have some of the Glimmer specialty cardstock. So I'm going to use that. And the sentiment. Now, did you know this? Uh, the sentiments that I have is called Merry and Bright Sentiment Strips. Now, this is a 
better press plate. So I don't know if you guys have jumped on board yet with the better press plates. I have one. I love them. They are beautiful. It's just something different. Uh, so I did jump on the bandwagon for that. But they foil amazing. Like, it's so crisp and clear. I know Spellbinders does a great job with their glimmer, pla glimmer plates, but their better press plates, it's just awesome. It is awesome. So this one is going to foil all of these sentiments at once, which you can see I have some in here, but if we have time, I wanted to show you. So let me grab some foil really quick. It is low on your TV, on your phone. I'm so sorry, Kathy. I, I did turn it up on my end. Actually, my microphone is giving me ye little yellow marks saying I'm too loud. So I'm not really sure what to do there, but it is something I will keep checking into. Okay, uh, what is this? We'll just use this one. So I have a ton of foil. The one that I grabbed is, I have them in the inside here. I have a label in there. This is satin gold. So it's a really pretty, if I can get the tape off. I just put like some scotch removable tape on here. I just used this. It shouldn't be on there that good. Just to hold my ends together. And then I will grab my foil. Now everybody does their foiling differently. So this is just the way that I like to do it. I'm going to trim this down. Oh, I didn't clean my scissors. It's got sticky stuff on it. Look at that. And then I'm going to place this down. Did I do it the wrong way? No, oh, let's go this way. Let's see if that side is big enough. Oh, um, well, yeah, that'll fit. That'll be good. So this is how I like to do it. I like to cut my foil. And then I'm going to trim off any excess and then I'm going to grab some best ever craft tape and I'm going to tape it down. I, I personally like taping mine down because I, then I'm not risking the chance of it shifting. So I just prefer this method. You can hear your, hear me better on TV now. Yay. Great. I'm glad. I'm so glad that works out volume and Technology, it just, it's a struggle. I'll tell you, it's a struggle. So I'm going to take this over to my Glimmer Hot Foil Machine. I don't have it figured out yet to stretch to my work surface. So I'm going to just pop over and place this on there. So give me one second. Okay, I hit my timer button, so it's foiling. The volume's fine for you. Good. Yeah, I tell you guys, seriously, technology, <laughs> I am constantly messaging friends. I'm like, oh my gosh, you sounded great. What are you using? Because I'm constantly just, I'm, I always want to improve. I want to make sure you can see me good and I want to make sure you can hear me good. Like that stuff is very important to me because, you know, if you can't hear me or you can't see my stuff, then you're not going to want to watch. So, you know, I want you to be able to get everything out of it. All right, so just my green light is blinking. I'm waiting for that to turn solid. So I'm looking over your comments. Thank you, Donna. Heidi says, hubby is the prime Amazon king on Black Friday. <laughs> Being a child of 10 with a single mom, he's like a kid in a candy store. I am too, I am too, but not a, not, I'm not a child of 10. Okay, my light is solid, so let me just go ahead and foil this one second. I'll run this through my Platinum 6. Be right there, guys. Okay, let's see how well I did. <clears throat> Thank 
you, Kathy. Your technology challenge. A lot of what I've done is, is self-taught. You know, thank goodness for YouTube videos. So, because I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. And I also bug everybody in the industry. <laughs> I love to hear. And everybody's got different ways of doing things just because of their setup. Nobody's setup is exactly the same. Like, I have a very small space because I'm in a kitchen. I also have wide open area in front of me. Uh, so it's echoey. So everybody's just got a different setup and they do what works for them. Okay, I'm carefully removing my tape. And then I'm going to just flip the plate up. Now the plate can be pretty hot, so I'm careful. Peel that back and now we'll see if I did a good job. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me move this out of the way. And actually there was a little bit of overfoiling. So I'll show you what I'll do for that. Not a lot. Oh, that goes there. So I'll see if I can get this in to see. But some of the areas like the E up there or down here, there's just that little bit of overfoiling. And so all I'm gonna do is just rub my hand over it for now. A lot of times that'll just take that away. Yeah, all better. Perfect. So now there is a coordinating die. So like I said, this is the Merry and Bright Sentiments strip set. You can use this for foiling. You can use this for your better press. So if you have either one of those machines, this plate will work for it. And then I'll be able to have all of these sentiments all at once. They'll be done. So I will line up this coordinating die to trim these out. I just want to make sure they're even. Okay, hold on. I gotta get my sprouts in over the camera here. All my little gray hair is sticking out. So it happens when you're this close to a break. You know, I think, hold on. I think I'm crooked. I want to make sure it gets straight because I'm cutting all of these out at once. I don't want them all crooked. Okay, I think I got it. So hold that down with my tape. And then I'll die cut that out. you heard all that crackling noise when it die cuts but <laughs> the the specialty cardstock is like a synthetic paper it's it's kind of like I would say almost like a yupo paper which is one of the reasons it foils so good um but when you run it through the die cut machine it's just like crackles it's like breaking glass it's kind of weird all right I can remove these so those will all fall out Oh, look at that. So many of them done. Love that. A sound of happiness. <laughs> it is kind of a satisfying sound, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put that away. So now I have all of these different sentiments to choose from. So on my other card, I put Holiday Cheer Enclosed, and I actually, I really like that one, so I think I'm going to use it again. I'll just kind of take my fingernail and brush over those edges, because um, they, you know, they got some paper hairs. So my card is going to say Merry Christmas. Well, we could do Celebrate the Season, but I don't know. That Holiday Cheer Enclosed, I think it's just so cute. So I think I'm going to go with that. But there's Making Spirits Bright, uh, Joyous Blessings, Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, Celebrate the Season. There's so many good ones in here. So I'm going to just put all of these 
in with my uh, plate. So that. The first time you used your big Gemini, you thought it broke and you had no idea it would crack like that. It is a first scary um, uh, one. There's, what is it? The Tailored Expressions Sentiment Strips. It does the same thing. It like cuts out this huge amount of sentiments and those two will crackle and pop and it, it kind of scary at first. Now on my, um, oh yeah, I did get some edges here. I was going to say on my other card, I did trim it down a little bit and added it to a panel. Uh, I mainly did that because I got ink on those registration marks. So I probably should trim that down too. But I love that white border it gives. It's got just, just a really pretty white border around it. So let's just trim off a smidge all the way around. Okay, so what am I measuring at? Well, maybe I will go down to I want to make sure I keep that even though. I don't want it to be too much on one side. And turn it a little bit. This is what I do. I just kind of eyeball everything. And maybe a little bit on that side. Okay, that should be good. So that'll bring me to four by five and a quarter, and then I can add it to a white card base. I shut my glitter machine off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have my holiday cheer. Isn't that just so pretty? So delicate. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate that. I have some thin... Thin white foam squares, which I've been pretty addicted to lately. I need to order some more of these, too. I have a shopping cart <laughs> full right now over at Simon's Stamp of things I need to pick up extra of. So I'm going to just kind of slightly pop this up. Add that in there. And one more. <clears throat> Ooh, a gold mat would look good. Yes. That would be really pretty. Just like a sliver of a gold mat and then onto a white card base. Is that what you're thinking? Um, where's my tweezers? Now, when I line this up underneath, I'm going to try and have it at the same angle as the Christmas. Whoop! Oh! Well. Thank goodness that was fairly centered because I didn't mean to do that so fast. I think I bumped it or something. And I didn't do any embellishments on my first car because I think my gold kind of acts as a acts as an embellishment, so I didn't do any on here. You always have stuff in your ass. <laughs> Simon says, damn car. I know. And thankfully, it doesn't empty. You know, like, mine will sit there for a few days or I don't even know maybe how long, a week. It'll sit in my cart. I'm like, oh, yeah, I wanted to get that stuff because I have post-it notes all over my desk of stuff that I want to get, and then the post-it notes end up getting lost, so... Okay, so you guys are thinking a gold frame, huh? Like some matte gold. Your tweezers are one of your favorite tools. Oh, totally, Adrian. My kind of crafter. I have probably about four pairs here, and I use every one of them. <laughs> Patricia, that's funny. Okay, so... 
Um, I think I'm just going to leave it for now. The, you know, it is, the gold matte would look really pretty. Um, I'm just really digging that white border. So I think, I think I'm going to leave it as a white border for now. So I'm just going to grab my card base. Hold on. I have some pre-scored card bases, so I'm going to, I should do some more up. Get this on a card base right away, because that is one of my biggest problems, is I don't put things on card bases. And I am just going to put tape runner behind that. And see, in the time it took me to do my, my glimmer, that lunar paste is dry already. I could also pop this up with foam tape. I could, I could, but I didn't. You can't get the hang of reverse tweezers. Oh man, I would be lost without my tweezers. I used to do paper piecing. I don't know if that, um, I used to, let's see. Um, I have a silhouette cameo. I actually have about four silhouette cameo machines. Um, and for a long time I did a business where I die cut, or I didn't die cut, I cut SVG files, uh, like titles and characters, and I added detail to them, I glued them, and then I sold them as pre-made items for people to um, add in their scrapbook. So I did that for 10 years. That was a business I ran out of my house. And that is where my love for tweezers came into place it's because I needed those tweezers to align all the words and things like that. So uh, I left that business. That was my own business at home and I moved into card making and I'm very happy with that decision. So exactly. It's like a third hand, sometimes four hands. Yeah, I have a lot. So yeah, I just kept it simple. You know, maybe I'll do another one because this is a really easy design to recreate. Um, I, maybe I'll do another one and I'll do a green and I'll do a, a gold. Kind of in a, a white mood today. I, I'm definitely a mood crafter because I go off of how my mood is for the day. <laughs> so there, let me peek at your comments. Let's see. Inexpensive wireless Bluetooth adapter on Amazon for your PC so you could put in earbuds and listen to... Ooh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Where did I get the ATG refills? Uh, the refills, I've, I have gotten some on Amazon. I believe Simon Says Stamp carries them. I think Honeybee Stamps carries them. Um, I've seen them there before. So definitely watch for that with the Black Friday sales coming up because Amazon just isn't cheap like it used to be. You know, you used to be like, oh, be a Prime member and get a deal on it. And that's not always the case anymore. Um, they've really just kind of become normal priced, sometimes not so normal priced. So I would keep an eye on like Honeybee Stamps or Simon Says Stamp when it comes to those refills. I can't wear earbuds. So I'm kind of out of luck on that one. Kathy says if I, let me see if I can, I want to try something. Nope, that's not what it did. Uh, ooh, there. If you were to add a silver or gold around the edge, what would be the easiest way to do it? Not on the edge, but in by the design. Um, you mean like around my border here? Is that what you mean, Kathy? If I wanted to add gold there? Thank you, everyone. <laughs> the replay, replay is probably not my best, my best live I've ever done. <laughs> As I tried to sneak this in before break. You got the Spellbinders layering stencil. I'm having fun with this ad to broadcast. Uh, layering stencil one with joy and the Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds pretty. I love that. 
You're going to watch again from the beginning, but you did already give this a thumbs up. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate that. Yes, you know, if you do enjoy it, the thumbs up really does help um, with the YouTube YouTube algorithm, um, which is very hard to get into because, you know, if, if we're showing YouTube or if you're showing YouTube that, yes, this is a good video for card makers, then maybe they'll show it to other people. So it does really help me if you give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it if you enjoyed the video. You bought the refills. Oh, yes, Michaels carries them too. I forget about that because I don't go to Michaels that often. So, yes, I think they have them. Hi, Barb. Uh, no problem, Barb. It was it was completely last minute that I decided to jump on. Close to the design, not on the edge. Well, Kathy, if I were to... Um, if I were to put any type of gold border, you know, if you were adding, like, let's say a mat, like, you know how Gina creates her mat, her black mats uh, with her borders and things like that? I wouldn't use a full piece of cardstock. Um, that would be one I've seen a lot of people maybe die cut from the center of a gold piece of cardstock. So that way they're not wasting this entire gold piece of cardstock. And then that way you could still have the edge behind it and they won't see what's underneath. Does that make sense? Um, or there are dies that you could do it with where you could cut yourself a thin border. If you have a nesting rectangles die, you could layer up two different sizes to create your own border. That's another idea. If I'm understanding right. I'm just going through your questions here. Oh yeah, gold pen. Totally. I actually have a gold pen. See, you guys, I don't think of this stuff. I have like a one track mind when it comes to something. Oh, <laughs> master layouts, cut out the middle, slightly layer. Yes, perfect. Got that down, Pat. You could use a master layout from Gina K Designs and cut out the middle, which is kind of what I was referring to, and slightly larger gold mat. Absolutely. <clears throat> Good afternoon from Norway. Yes, comments help too. Yes, I, I do appreciate all of that. Love your card. This is your first live? Oh, no. <laughs> Please don't judge me based on this live. Crazy hair, crafting hair. And I'm, I'm still recovering. That's going to be my excuse as I'm still recovering. My comments are... Um, I keep scrolling and scrolling because they're not automatically scrolling for me. Uh, gold emboss, you could. Yes, you could take a um, embossing ink pad and go around the edges or drag it along the edges I've seen people do. Or you can swipe along the edges. That would also be a really great idea. I'm not very good with that technique, which is why I don't do it very often. But it's a really good idea. Thank you, guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I'm in under an hour. So actually I wanted to bring this up close for you real quick here. I'm gonna tilt it so my um, light isn't too carried away, but you can see where we have our gold paste there. We have shimmer and shine, which is hard to catch there, but um, with the, the glimmer foil. But even with foiling, it was still pretty quick. I mean, I literally did this in an hour, so. These were really good. And and this is just a basic color combination. Ooh, you know what you guys can also try because I'm kind of on that kick lately is craft. Try this with craft cardstock. I bet it would look amazing. Madrid, Spain. Wow. I love seeing where you guys are all coming in from. Do I do it a lot of lives? Oh, Christine, I know. I wish, um, I, wish I had more of a schedule. I don't, unfortunately. It's like right now today was kind of spur of the moment because um, I just came back from a trip. I've been catching up on work and the next week we have uh, Thanksgiving break. So the kids are home all week and I won't be able to go live when they're on break because I'm in a kitchen and you guys don't want to hear Mickey Mouse in the background while I'm trying to do a live. So that's why I kind of just really quick popped on today. This card is part of a blog hop. Um, I will, I don't think I put that on my video description, but I will go back in. I'll update my supply list. If you're interested in anything that I've used today, 
And I'll also put a link to my blog because it's part of a blog hop with Spellbinders. They have some giveaways there. So definitely check that out. I don't necessarily have a schedule because I just never know when I'm going to have time to fit it in. And I know that's not super helpful for you guys. Maybe starting in the next year, I can try and nail myself down a little bit more. Um, I will say I have noticed that if I go live, I tend to do it right away in the morning. Um, I think I've done them at 9. I think I've popped in at 10 before. So it does seem like I tend to favor the early mornings. And I know I don't give a lot of notice. So I, I apologize for that, you guys. Uh, I'm just going to catch up on comments. So if you guys have uh, any questions, I'll give it another two minutes here before I wrap up. And tell my husband he can come back in the house. Um, I'm going to go through and see here if we have any comments that I missed. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your wonderful comments. And I, like I said, I do appreciate the thumbs up. Oh, you know, and if you happen to pop by uh, and you're not subscribed yet, I would love it if you do. It, it is super helpful for all of that. It's really hard to get into the YouTube algorithm. And I just want people that enjoy card making to, to see the video. You know, I, I don't need to be a 3 million hit video. I just want people that enjoy card making to see it. And maybe they, maybe they'll find some inspiration in it. Um, loved my poinsettia card and tags. Oh, thank you. Yes, that was, that was craft paper. I'm kind of on a craft paper kick this year. So that was a lot of fun to put together. And I, I got to remember that that's where my gift card is because it's in my bedroom right now. I had to hide it from my daughter. Holy cow, Australia. 4 a.m. Crazy. Thank you so much, Michelle. I appreciate that. Oh, gosh. Great. This is a great time for you guys down in those those countries. We got Australia and Spain, and this seems to be a, a good time for you guys. <clears throat> came in late so you'll catch the replay thank you yes and, and I do want to say that you know thank you because I do forget to say a lot of things in the lives but thank you for joining the ones that are here today my last minute live and thank you for watching on the replay got to remember to say thank you to you guys because I do appreciate it I am in central time yes I'm in Wisconsin so I am central time Question, Mindy, are, yes. <laughs> Sorry, delay. Catching up on those comments. Penguin Pals, that is a really cute set from Gina. My puppy's going crazy now. Sam. <laughs> My puppy's whining. I'm so glad to hear that, you guys. I appreciate all the wonderful comments. And I do read, you know, it's funny. I, I catch up more on YouTube than I do on my blog. So if you ever really want me to see a comment, YouTube is the place to be. I always check my comments on YouTube. Been knocking it out of the park lately. Thank you, Barb. I appreciate it. I, I'm having a lot of fun. And the Christmas series that I'm doing, I'm having a lot of fun with. So I enjoy making Christmas cards. Germany. Oh, I love this time frame. I'm getting so many. I'm totally killing time right now. So if people are watching the replay, they could probably just shut me off because <laughs> I'm just killing time. Okay, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna go. I'm going to put up my end screen here in just a little bit so that I can use this uh, on my YouTube channel too. But I really do appreciate you guys popping in and watching me today. I got to watch my camera as I moved it. Um, and again, thank you on replay. All of the supplies will be listed down below in my video description. I'll update that as well once everything is done processing. And I'll get a link to my blog. So be sure to hop over there, check out the blog, check out the blog hop that we're doing today. And I just have tons more ideas to share with you guys for the holiday season. So thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you again soon. Bye.